How much does it cost to run a grow light per month? I'm gonna show you in this video, but before I get into it, like this video and subscribe to this channel because it really helps us out. So to answer this question, what I did was I took five different states and I ranked them from um, an energy cost from lowest to highest in cents per kilowatt. So I started with Washington because it is lower than average and the uh, one of the lowest uh, or cheapest uh, states in terms of energy, um, followed by Oklahoma, Michigan, uh, California, which is at the higher end, Hawaii, which is at the really high end, and the US average. Um, you notice that Oklahoma is close to the average. Um, so if you can't read those numbers very well, let me just quickly go over them. Washington is 10.37. Again, this is cents per kilowatt, so uh, 10.37 cents. Oklahoma, 14.45 cents. Michigan, 17.90 cents. California, 27.27 cents. Hawaii, 45.73 cents. And the US average, 15.95. So to calculate uh, the grow light cost per month, we have a few assumptions here. So we're gonna assume that the grow light is drawing 600 watts at the wall and that we're flowering for 12 hours a day and we're vegging for 18 hours a day. And lastly, that the light is gonna be on for 30 days in the month or pretty much the whole month. To calculate this uh, grow light cost per month, we're gonna plug these numbers into a formula here. So this might be a little, bit, uh, a little bit small, so you might not be able to see it too well, but I will go over it for you. So the formula is wattage times uh, hours per day divided by 1,000 multiplied by the rate times 30. So let me slow that down just a bit. So the formula uh, or the grow light cost per month equals 600 watts times hours per day, which is either gonna be 12 or 18. We're gonna divide that by 1,000, multiply it by the rate, in this case, say Washington, 0 0.1037, gotta move that decimal two places, and multiply it by 30 for 30 days. All right, so let's get into it. How much does it cost to run a grow light in Washington? So for veg and flour, veg is $16.80 and flour is $22.40. Next, Oklahoma to veg, it's gonna be about $23.41 and to flour, $31.21. Michigan to veg, $29 and to flour, $38.66. California. To veg, $44.18 and to flour, $58.90. Hawaii. Check that out. $74.08 to veg and $98.78 to flour. Whoa. And the US average. To veg for the month, about $25.84, and to flour, right around $34.45. So in conclusion, you can see that these rates vary quite a bit, depending on which state you're in. Um, if you wanna calculate this yourself, you can use this formula, which I will put in the description. Um, but if you're close to one of these states, you, know, you could use that as well, um, just to get an idea of the cost. And the US uh, average is a little bit lower if you take out California and Hawaii since the range of uh, energy cost is right, or most, I should say most of the states are right in the range of maybe 14, 15, uh, 16 cents per kilowatt. So having California at 27 cents and Hawaii at 45 cents, it really skews up the average. So on average in the US, that number is a little bit lower if you take out those states. And also, you know, you might just quickly think that since you are running the light at veg at 50%, say 300 watts, because uh, you don't need as much light to veg as you do to flower, that it's gonna be half the cost of, the f of flowering. But as you can see, you know, veg is not half the cost because you're running the light for 18 hours, not for uh, 12 hours. And with LEDs, you're going to see about a 40% savings over HPS. So in this assumption, the lights are drawing 600 watts, um, whereas with a 
HPS light, you're drawing right around 1,000 watts, so about 40% savings. And with LEDs, you're gonna be using less AC, so that savings might increase. Uh, but in some cases, it might decrease because you might be using um, a heater. Say you're growing in a cool room like a basement or a cool back room, uh, you're using a heater to heat up that space, which you, know, you might not need with an HPS that runs hotter than LEDs. Uh, so with rates going up, it might make sense to switch to LEDs if you're not using LEDs already. And if you need some suggestions for um, lights, you can click the video on the screen right here. And I'm going to leave it at that. So I will see you in the next video.